Hello, this is Emperor Nikolai, playing X3. I'll be on Prelude, Enhanced Mod Collection, Power by Time of the Truth. And right now, we are currently churning in the... churning in the... Uh, data. System Xenon Sector 695. Haha, <laughs> fooled ya. You think you really think I'm gonna go over and turn against my Xenon AI, huh? Well, anyway, we're gonna go over and turn this data to the CPU and analytic um, information center thing, whatever. And get the proper reward. Successfully docked. Entering system. Message received. Um, D12. The information of the CPU has given access to the results and received data analysis. The discovery Discovery data did not characterize the new life forms neither as organic nor mechanical. They are divine as the essence of mathematics. They are the essence of three dimensions of space. Thumb toe lap. Receiving upgrade information for database. Now it's from D12. After analyzing the new race's past and present actions. System okay. check. And we did it! The analytic unit of the CPU marked the code as conflicting with the R's. According to protocol number one, the primary task of our system is the space terraforming. Any factors blocking the assignment? Ship of ordered the at shipyard. More on that later. Um, the conditions specified by the program should be removed. It should be taken into consideration that the new race's possession of technology is being able to interfere with our primary task. The calculus center at the CPU is developing new evolution modules for the system that ties us in that until. They finished and loaded the, all the orders regarding to discover the sector's full-scale terraforming are canceled. Take into account that you are a special autonomous unit. The CPU has given you the feature of making independent decisions regarding to the primary task. Okay, so yeah. The, the analytic unit advises you to use our module D of MO class intended for different types of operations. This module is the most high performing among all of the pre-processing modules that have ever been built by our system, but it has never been taken part in scale operations. For the D's module receipt, you should continue the execution of protocol number one. So we're gonna be basically killing everybody again. According to directive number 136M, the, the production unit of the CPU start a cycle of shipbuilding intended to forward under your control under each 12 hours. Uh, the next ship will be chosen in a random way. Besides, organic creatures discovered our interference with the reputation recording system and restored the characteristics to the initial state. So yeah, um, that is our reward for as, well this is it, that's the end of the CPU evolution plot, and that is our reward. Every 12 hours we'll get a random ship. Let's see, what current ship we got at the, um, looks like we got an RP. But yeah, um, every 12 hours we'll get a random ship. It can range from the N to, I think the D, but I think the latter is a little bit rare. So every 12 hours. But as as stated, our ranking is back to negative 5 of everyone, including the 
pirates now. Although the ancient rank has been set back to zero again. And we'll undock. Mosquito missile. Now you might be wondering, what would have happened if we turned in the um, the data to Norman? Well, all of our um, Commonwealth, all the rankings of the Commonwealth, including the Terran and the both pirate clans, they would be at plus eight rank. However, um, we will be classified as a virus by the Xenon, aka negative 5 rank. But, since you are still a Xenon, you can still improve that rank by killing things. At least I think. And also, your ancient rank will be at plus 2 or 3. But yeah, that's, this is the CPU evolution plot. Now, in order to actually make more progress with this, um, I mean, into the next, um, chapter of this plot, well, of the CPU plot, which I can't remember what it's called, but, yeah, but, um, it actually involves you, uh, going after the altered sectors. But you have to capture five sectors in order to get an MO, in order to get an MO class um, vessel guaranteed. Well, after resource delivery, of course. But yeah, trading the data to Norman would just raise up your rank with everybody, and and essentially actually botches the CPU plot because you can't turn in the data to the Xenon. And you won't get that congratulation message either. So yeah, this is the CPU evolution plot. And overall, it's a pretty unique experience. I mean, I certainly don't really like it as much as the... as the real um, Time of the Truth plot. But that plot's actually a lot more harder and a lot more longer. Yeah, um, tune in next time as we try to figure out um, well, what else to, what next to do. And we're back, and after a while, we got this message: um, six eight thirteen. E seventy nine. Your effectiveness as the executor of the previous directives regarding the exploratory center of the CPU databases extension was equal to one hundred percent. The system recognizes you as the most functional and absolute unit. That is why you are offered to fulfill a key reconnaissance operation. Do you connect? Oh yeah, this is CPU reconnaissance. Up to what was it? I guess it's sector four seventy two. Apparently, we got. I think we got docked at the shipyard there. Now we got docked at the station, but we still docked there. Or we can't really dock at regular stations with a free want to run at that thing. You just get all the way down. There's so many capital ships here, it's hard to navigate through them. Or maybe not. And here we go. Q. 
Well, now we can actually dock in this thing. Xenon Station. Alright. Successfully docked. Incoming message. Um, file from uh, text not found. Two production cycles ago, and one of the first space sectors processed by the system, some organic life form ships were discovered. All our scout modules located in the sector were damaged by a sudden electromagnetic flash from the near star. This is the reason why the unit of the CPU process is just the proximate data. According to which the uncovered ships corresponded with the Terrans group modules within. 38% and could be classified as medium and light fighters. As much as such classes, we do not have power for a long time hyper travel. The analog unit of the CPU emits the probability of 99% that the object of their referencing is located in space, controlled by the system. Your primary task, to specify the object's race belonging to clarify their activities, aims, and nature. And then their mission message by text not found. I assume it's just um, from another um, CPU information center. Um, your access level has been increased up to the maximum. According to this, the exploratory center of the CPU grants you supplementary information. Five evolution steps ago, the first version of the system elaborated in terraforming directive for the Aldrin space sector. Sent and sent a standard reprocessing fleet there. Just immediately the inlike unit of the CPU suffered a critical error caused by electromagnetic overload, which was the first version system's vulnerability. The entailed s several vital failures, a sparse group of Terran ships was recognized as the primary target for the terraforming. It was followed by our units and modules leading them out of the solar system. Also, the contact with all far reprocessing assemblies was terminated. The analytic unit of the CPU admits that the probability of 72% that the appearance of the alien objects in the sector could be connected to the system Aldrin. The Terran technologies have cap much capabilities with ours and threatened the successful execution of Protocol 1. And the analytic unit of the CPU proves your precipitation and operation only if you possess an MO class ship as the most effective disinfection and reprocessing tool. Alright, we are now given the mission to obtain the MO class ship. And again, in order to get an MO class ship, we have to capture five sectors. Either that or get lucky with the ship roulette and they give one for us. Well, tune in next time as hopefully we'll have an MO class ship. See you then.